Okay, here I am. I was on my way to the American Embassy to see if they could help me out. Because I, of course, was pickpocketed by some low life. I'm usually so careful, but this time I was so stressed out because of the confusion with my Airbnb. When I got there, he had somebody else in my apartment and he had me staying with his mother and I was so stressed out. Finally, Airbnb came through and they put me in another place, beautiful. But I was so stressed out about the move and I had to go and stay in a hotel one night before the place was ready. And uh, so I just came from the American Embassy. It was too late to go in there, too many people. They said, come back another day. And I passed this beautiful place. I said, what is this? And the guy told me it's, it's a church, but the statue is of Moses bringing the tablets down from Mount, uh, oh my God, I can't remember the mountain. Oh, what's wrong with my mind? Anyway, when he was bringing the tablets down from the mountain. And there's some uh, lions. I don't remember lions being in that story, but I guess they thought it would make it more interesting <laughs> if Moses was with some lions when he went up there. Too bad he wasn't. He could have made the people downstairs behave. But isn't that beautiful? A giant statue of Moses. All right, so I always try to look on the bright side of everything. If I hadn't had this horrible experience, I wouldn't have found this building. I, I would have rather done without the experience. Because <laughs> now I have no, no debit cards, hardly no money. I don't know what my next move is going to be, but you got to keep a positive attitude when you're the indigent explorer. It's part of the experience. All right. I just wanted to show this in case I upload it because it's a beautiful place. The American Embassy is down there. A bunch of other embassies are there too. And um, I think this place, Italy, that sells all the food is around here too. And I am very hungry. I need to eat something. But I just wanted to make a note of this place. Rome is so crazy. To cross the street, oh my goodness, you should get an award for getting across the street. Oh. Anyway, I am having a good time despite all the insanity. My room <laughs> had blood worms coming in this morning. Yesterday it was flooded. And it's a beautiful place, but it's in the middle of a forest, so it's got all kinds of little bugs and stuff around. That's all right. It's still a beautiful place, and I'm so appreciative to be out of that other place and in the beautiful place, and it's just too bad I got robbed, but I've also experienced the joy of being in an Italian police station. <laughs> that was fun. The policeman looked at me, and he starts tracing my face with his finger. I says, oh dear, I hope I don't look like somebody on the most wanted list. And he looks at me and says, ah, Italia Vistage, which means I have an Italian face. And after that, everything was copacetic. He brought me a, a, a espresso and he was nice and he was joking around. So, ah, what an adventure. All right, I will return as soon as I find something else interesting.